All right, people, we are back in Samcraft. Let's do this. Um, first things first, there's a new snapshot since I last recorded this. It's 13W37B. Um, I think the last one I played on for episode one was 13W37A. Sounds about right. Um, so I don't know, like, I, I just uh, booted up Minecraft and went to go change it to 13W37A. And I noticed that there was a B, so I figured, why not? Uh, we might find something cool, I'm not sure. I would imagine if there's anything new, it'd be, you know, like, probably in the menu. Um, I don't know too much about the snapshots. Um, but anyways, first thing I wanted to talk about was... What is this? Which color is this? Um, red. No, we don't need red. Um, was... I'm here. Well, this wasn't what I wanted to talk about, but I'm here. Um, you might remember this place. Let me get, up, let me get to a, a good vantage point. Or, no, this is fine. Um, this place we passed in the in the last episode, and it's so beautiful. Um, look at all the flowers and everything just running through this hilly, hilly place. So, um, I think this is where we're going to live, at least for now, because if we want to build something big, um, I think there's some room. There's a plains over there, yeah. So we can do, like, a starter place here, and then if we want to do big stuff, we can move it right in that little plains over there. Um, or even that might be one over there. And we can use some cool things with this mountain, which these gravel deposits in the mountain, I really like. A lot of, a lot of added texture when you put those in, and easy to, to grind flint um, if you need it without having to go um, underground. So, first thing I wanted to talk about was the flowers, and I didn't realize this, and it should have been obvious, but as soon as I stopped recording, I found this out. So, take an orange tulip here, and you'll notice it goes straight into an orange dye. So... So that's big. I don't want to move any flowers right now because everything looks so good where it is. Um, I wonder if daisies. These are daisies, right? Oxide daisy. Do these have any special dye? Ooh, light gray. See? Um, so now you can make a bunch of different dyes without having to combine dyes. What about the bl the French flowers? Azure bluette. What about these? Those those go to light gray as, as well. So it seems like kind of like a default is a is a light gray color. Um, and then pink. It's the last one I'll show you. Pink straight into pink dye instead of having to do uh, rose red and um, and bone meal. So that's big. Ooh, so I'm sorry. I, I'm taking a lot of time with oh, lilac. Ooh, lilac goes straight to magenta. All right. So I'm just taking note of some of these things because those are those are useful. Um, those are they really make adding flowers worthwhile. Really, um, they do. That looks really good over there too. I could use that um but for now right right now i'm staying in here because it's got um the waterfall that i like and everything so um so yeah so that's what i want to talk about with the flowers um and this one would be purple dye i'd imagine um and so here's my plan for this i need a little bit of wood i need spruce and i think i need oak 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 um where would i find that because i'm not getting rid of any trees in here not even going to touch these trees. Maybe on this other side of this mountain, this mountain biome over here, we'll see. Um, so yeah, I need oak wood and I need spruce wood because I was thinking, what can I do? Because I'm settling here because of the area, right? Uh, I like how it looks. It's all so pretty with all the flowers and the hills and the water waterfall. So, um, And I was thinking kind of like what it reminded me of and it just it just struck me that um it reminded me of something like a scene out of out of like the hobbit or lord of the rings and i'm not a huge fan of either one of those um i'm not a huge fan of the hobbit or you know the lord of the rings um i think it's a trilogy i think there's three of them um but that doesn't mean i can't build something that looks like it so i wanted to build like it just looks like that and it might not to you, but there's something in it to me that that makes it look that way. Also, ooh, I just had a really good idea. What I might do, yeah, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to chop down all these little trees. Eventually. Not right now, I don't think. I'm going to chop down all the little trees and plant big ones, like this one over here. Those look more realistic, so that's a good plan for, um, for some landscaping. Oh, I've got plenty of food. No need to worry about that. Um... I'm going to chop down this tree, though, at least part of it, because it's not really in my uh, in my area. It's not going to be in my line of sight most of the time. 
Uh, the waterfalls coming out of there look great, coming out of the mountains. Uh, and I'm starting to wish I played on amplified biomes, because um, there's a couple, there's some cool stuff, like, um, uh, I don't know what they're called. They might be, they're like the overgrown forest, you know, um, if you've seen any snapshot videos with, uh, with mushrooms. I think they're called a mushroom forest, actually. Um, they're large spruce wood trees with mushrooms mixed in, the big mushrooms. Um, sorry, I have to have an even, an even stack. Um, oh my god, I love these blue flowers so much. The blue orchids, those are my jam. Um, so yeah, and what's weird about those, those biomes, that biome, is that it's all made of spruce wood. The trees are all spruce wood, but with oak leaves, and ooh, I love those falling particles. I could take damage all day, just look at those. Um, but... I don't know if they have oak leaves, but they drop oak saplings, so that's that's something kind of weird. Um, but I don't mind it. Um, it's an easier way to get to get spruce wood, and but you still get oak saplings because with a forest like that, you don't really need to replant the spruce saplings. So um, there's that a new way to get a bunch of spruce wood easily, and then also the birch forests, um, which is just obviously all birch wood in a forest, and I gotta. I gotta keep note of where all these caves are. Take note of where these caves are that I'm seeing. Um, because I definitely need to do some resource gathering soon. Oh my god. Get me out of here. <laughs> so if you haven't noticed by now, I'm gonna be doing a lot of snapshot talking. Is this a cave? No. Okay. Nothing to keep take note of there. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of snapshot talk, a lot of new feature talk, because there's so much of it mainly, and because just starting up this series around that time, around uh, the snapshot time, so um, I know a couple people that won't want to watch this, um, and more than a couple. Um, I know people that won't want to watch this series right now, um, they'll probably go back and watch it later just because um, I'm playing on a snapshot. Ooh, that's a nice looking cave, I won't have to go too far to find that. Uh oh creeper. Have I fought a creeper yet? In Samcraft 2.0? Oh my gosh. Well that, well, that didn't go too well. Um, let me just fix this out, even it out. I'm trying to keep this area as natural looking as possible. There you go. It's fine. Uh, whoa! Hello! Um, Alright, I got torches. No armor. Not needed. Who cares? You see in this... Well, boy, am I glad I came back here. Oh my gosh, this is pretty. Uh-oh, frames. There we go. We're good. A peony. What does a peony make? Anything? Pink dye. Okay. I think there was another flower that made that, but peonies next to um, the lilac look awesome. Look at this right here. And I'm about to set up shop. Where is it? Like right in here somewhere. So we can make a, a mob grinder right off the bat. That's something we never did in uh, Samcraft 1.0. A white tulip. Oops. Is that another way to get bone meal? Oh, light gray. Okay. Well, that doesn't make much sense, that one. But it wouldn't make too much sense to get uh, bone meal from it either. Okay. Let's get these chests. I got a name tag. Awesome. Iron horse armor. Awesome. Um, another iron horse armor and a saddle. So now I can go find those horses. Um, I've seen plenty of horses. I can, and I can find more. Um, no problem. Uh, we might as well take the music discs, and buckets are very important early. I don't have a bow yet. I'll grab the string. Why not? Um, there's tons of iron throughout here. This is this is good. I'm happy now. Definitely happy I settled on this, this spot. Um, but I think what I definitely want to do is... Not, not now. Maybe by next episode. I'll try that. That'll be something cool to, to mess around with is knock out all the oak trees and maybe leave a couple of birch for some variety but i want to plant a bunch of large oak trees you know the ones i'm talking about um god i don't even have any cobblestone oh my voice just went there it's still a bit iffy my voice um it's been a bit here and there lately um i need enough cobble now for a furnace i wonder if there's like another dungeon right in here that i I'm gonna miss if I don't explore. Okay, we'll save caving for another time. Um, but I really would like some cobblestone, at least enough to get a furnace. Oh, looks looks kind of ugly now. Oh well. Um, 
caves don't need to be too pretty, just the land around it. Um, so, oh, night time. Okay, I'm gonna go sleep it off. I'll be right back. Right, so like I said, this reminds me of all of, like, the Hobbit, and also, between that cut, that's what I found out. It never occurred to me that this, this flower thing might be kind of weird. Um, you know, it doesn't seem too usual, but if you press F3, we're actually in what's called a flower forest, so it's a whole new biome. They seem like really small biomes, though, which, um, doesn't bother me. Um, but yeah, flower forest, this, this is pretty awesome, I gotta say. Um, I'm just getting... I'm trying to get myself organized here. I'm getting some extra food made up when I need it. Um, but, so yeah, this this whole place reminds me of um, something out of The Hobbit. And what I wanted to do is kind of start out with like a little Hobbit hole, I think. So um, I want to do it, like I want to start it like right here. And I don't want to take out too much of the earth. And whatever I take out, I'm going to put it on the other side. I'll show you what I mean. I think I had more dirt. No. Um... I don't think I do actually. Um, I don't want to move any flowers, but sometimes I'm gonna have to move some flowers <laughs> eventually. Let me move a couple. Like I don't know what kind of shape I really want. I want um, I want the crafting table down to make a ton of stairs, not a ton, just a few, because um, I want kind of a, a circular shaped door, of course, like any good habit hole. Um, and I'm thinking we do it like upside down stair here. This could look good. The only thing I don't like is that there's going to be little, you know, missing areas in there. Oh well, we can get over that. Um, and then maybe do it like half and half, if that makes sense. Like, um, this can be like... It'll be half half spruce on this side, half oak on this side. It's just gonna be a little a little tiny hole. Oh, I've got a really good idea. I just had um to cover up that whole that whole thing. I need some iron. There's a couple of iron right here. Uh oh, don't drop it. Don't drop that dun dun uh, iron. <laughs> um, that that spawner is gonna be so good. No, I'm definitely not moving. Uh uh, no way. Um, even though now I know that we can find these, now that I know it's a biome, I guess we could technically find these elsewhere, you know. Um, <clears throat> and I, <laughs> I was digging, a uh, cobblestone for a furnace hut earlier, until I noticed, um, I already have one in my inventory, so we have two now. Um, get everything in order. My French flower in there as well. Um, what did we need? Oh, right. I need, I need shears, um, and this is gonna be, this is gonna be tough, because I can't tell if I want it to be any bigger than what it's gonna look like right there. I definitely want to keep it small, I want some clay, I wonder if I can find clay in, in riverbeds, I don't know if clay does spawn in riverbeds, um, let's see, let's see, do I see any, I don't know where the nearest lake is. Or ocean. So, um, also, I've just planted down some of the sugar cane I found here, because um, I want to be very proactive in my farming. I want to have start farms before I need them. If that makes sense. Like, um, not wait until I need something to farm it. Cool. There's clay in here. That's good. Die. I shouldn't kill the wildlife in this area. Everything's so perfect here. Um, I only need, like, that much. That's plenty for right now. Um, I do need to go eventually, pretty soon, and get a bunch of clay. Um, that's what I did on Thrival. I just went off. That's probably another, um, like, what's this here? This is just regular plains, and then this is probably a not-as-cool flower forest. Yeah. Flower forest. Okay. Um, so these things are cool. The reason I wish I was playing in a, um, in Amplified Biomes was, is, uh, because I would definitely play in a Savannah. Savannah Biomes are probably, um, my favorite of the new biomes. Um, maybe actually behind the, <laughs> now that I'm living in one, probably behind the flower forests. Um, I just didn't know it was a biome, so. So, yeah. Uh, 
Let's go grab our iron and make our shears, our shires. There, there we go. Um, and what my plan was, let me grab some grass. Ooh, what about what are these plains over here? Um, this is a lot of work. Oh wait, no. I think I was gonna go grab some tall grass, the two tall grass. Um, but I'm pretty sure that you can't. I see some. I'm gonna go for it anyways. It's kind of a waste of time, but I'm pretty sure you can only place it one high. You know, you pick it up as two. That's if you punch it, though. I think if you punch it, let's try this. We're gonna do some tests. Punch it, you get nothing. Okay. Um, never mind. <laughs> that should give me. Yeah, it just gave me two extra grass. That's, and they're not, you know, when you place them, they're just regular, and you can't stack them unless you. No, you can't. That's a bummer. Maybe we could use some two high ferns. Um, there's a taiga biome very nearby, so that's good for two high ferns. Um, this is a lot of work for such minute detail. Um, I want to put these. Where's our hobbit hole? It's better not be this easy to lose. Um, like here, just to kind of cover up those little holes. Yeah, that kind of works. Um, that seems like the shortest Minecraft day of all time. Let me go sleep this off again. Hop in bed for a second. I think what I will do is put some two high ferns right in front of the door there, at least on one side. Um, I'm very into details in Minecraft lately. I really like the details. Um, there. <laughs> I just don't want to hold on to that for, for too long. Um, I really like that the first uh, the first iron I made at all went into, uh, <laughs> went into a pair of shears. Um, I need to go cook up my clay. I should bring a furnace down here. <laughs> I'm gonna do that right now. And I'll leave the chests. I don't, or the chest, singular. I don't need it right now. Um, oh, furnace, put that down. Um, okay, get that cooking. I want to make a door. Definitely need a door. And I think that needs to be set back, so. Um, this is... Yeah. This is probably a big enough hole. I want it three tall, though. So this, that would be like an oval. How can we... How can we do that? What if we did, um... Like this. Okay, you following me. And then this way... Pick up that rose. Um, this way, there's no wood there. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, I'm messing up. No, put the flowers back. Keep the poppy. Instead of a rose, it's not a rose. Everyone's always called a rose. Now it's a poppy. I don't know how I feel about that one. I eh? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I think it has to be. One, yeah, like this wide, but then that's good because there's not little holes, kind of, if you know what I mean. Definitely want it. Oh, what if we? All right, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is so, such a simple thing to do, and I'm messing it up all over. Um, how did I want to do this? Just like that could work. I'm thinking aloud here. But yeah, that could work, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Um, that there, and then we'll put oak wood in the middle here. Um, oak wood there, and then there would be oak wood there, and there. Um, okay, right? Yes? Good? No? Oh, I'm so confused right now with what I'm doing in my own head. Uh, this seems like something I wouldn't have to plan out, so... Oh, that's the totally wrong direction. And that is that the right one? I'm really hoping that's the right one. I'm trying to make a circle here with some stairs and whatnot, but that's we're gonna make this work eventually. Uh, maybe not this episode. Maybe in episode fifty. But we are going to make this one work. They they point inwards, so here. Yeah, eventually we'll get this to work out <laughs> um, somehow. Uh, and then we can put spruce on the top and the bottom, just, just like so. 
Um, that's kind of a good looking hobbit hole. Um, <clears throat> I think I want some slabs, like, back here. Let's try that out. Put a slab up here. And don't need one there. And then there. Um, and maybe up here as well. Can't hurt. Ooh. Um, I don't like this being up like that. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's our temporary hobbit hole, what it will look like. I'm definitely gonna plan something for next episode, because that just looks awful. Um, yeah, it's, it's not... It's not terrible. Awful was a bit bit harsh. Um, it doesn't look as good as it could. Let's be nice about it. Um, God, I can't place this door. The life of me. Um, there. No. I really thought I had to place one on the inside. Guess not. Never mind. Um, and then it's still not the right size. All right. Okay. Whatever. We're gonna have this, like, kind of hollowed out, like, pushed back. You know, something like that. So that we can have windows there. Um, which I need sand for. Again, not, not prepared. Come on, it, it's episode two. What are you gonna do? Take it easy on me. In the, in the comments. Um, let me grab a couple pieces that'll make it still look natural around here. In our beautiful flower forest. Um... That's what this is called. This is now called the flower forest. It's the flower forest. From a distance, that doesn't look bad. Um, and it'll look better with some foliage, if that's the right word. Probably not. Wait. What? I put... Which is... Oh. <laughs> oh, dang it. Dang it. I, I didn't, couldn't figure out why I got bricks back when I put in clay, but I put in the clay balls. I'm so, I haven't made it in forever. I haven't made hardened clay in forever because I, um, just haven't needed to. Where was that clay at? It was down there. Um, because I got like 60 stacks on Thrival forever ago, so I haven't needed to get any more recently. Uh, I just got a little bit more. I don't know what color I'm going to do, though. That's the problem. I want to do cactus, I think. Cactus is green colored. Obviously, we don't have any of that. Um, maybe just regular hardened clay. We can, we can mess around. <laughs> so now I've got a bunch of bricks that I have nothing to do with. I could use a, a a brick pathway. Could look good in a flower forest. That gets my mind going a little bit, just a bit. Um, okay, that's done. Gotta remember to make this into clay blocks before we throw it in. There we go. <laughs> um, this would need to go back. I guess I kind of just assumed you guys would know what I was doing here. That would have to go back to there. And then upside down stair. Right? Yeah, that'll work. It's not quite right, but it, that actually looks better than if it was done correctly. Um, does that look better or worse? Ah. No. I'm kind of... Yeah, I'm not going with the design you see here. So this is all just speculation messing around. Um, and then the goal is to do something like that. Um, but we'll work on it, I promise. Um, kind of a waste of time here. I'll work on it, and I will have something to produce by the next episode. Our habit hole will look amazing, I promise it. Um, so thanks for watching. This is Sam Craft 2.0, and I'll see you guys in the next one.